so now we have studied about what is linked list and the elements of the linked list now we will write the code of the linked list so let's write we will write hash include and io stream using name standard and here we will define a class which will be name node now in the public we will write data so uh, in public we will write data which will be integer type and now we will create a pointer next which will contain the address of the next node so here node and the pointer name will be next this will contain the address of the next node now we will define a constructor so let's write constructor node and uh, in this node uh, in this constructor we will pass the argument data so this data will be integer type so we will write int data now in this this will take as a data data will take data and now next will next will be null now we have defined the class and the constructor now let's write the code and main and in this code we will uh, we will create statically object so i will comment this as statically we are creating here object as statically so node and this node uh, give this node name as a n1 this node n1 and in this node we will pass the data as a let's say data is 5 now create another node let's name this as n2 and pass the data as uh, as your choice so i will pass the data as 8 now as much you create your data as your requirement so i will create only three let's write node and three and i will pass here data uh, let's say nine now i have created this uh, these three nodes now we uh, we have to link all the datas so i will write n1 dot next n1 uh, here in n1 node the address part or we uh, or we can say that the second part which contains the address of the next node here it, this is the next and in this next it will contain the address of the next node uh, means it contains the address of the address of the n2 node 2 now n2 dot next means that the uh, second part of the n2 node means the address containing part here next this tell us that uh, uh, this is the address containing part of the uh, second node or n2 node so this will contain the address of the next node means this contains the address of the node n3 so n3 now we have to print the data so we will print c out n1 sorry n1 or dot data this will print the data of the n1 node uh, next n2 so n2 dot data this will print the data of the n2 node and n3 dot data this will print the data of the third node and uh, here and line. now return the function and let's compile the file oh class does not 
did you mean that class so we have uh, written as wrong name class so uh, uh, now everything is correct let's compile this now you you can see that there is zero error zero warning and the execution time so let's run the program uh, we have not given the uh, here let's give the space between the data so here and now again here we will give the space now let's run this program here you can see that this 5 8 and 9 this is our data which we have passed at that time here 5 8 and 9 so let's run 5 8 8 and 9 this is the data which we have passed earlier in this link list so this was all about the link list now in the next video we will see the how to create uh, stat uh, dynamically nodes and uh, how to find nth node and deletions and many more so thanks for watching